Well, today marked day 10 in the Thomas Clayton murder trial in Stuban County Court. Jurors today hearing largely in part from a forensic investigator talking about blood splatter inside the Clayton home. And our very own WEMI's Logan Wilson has the latest from today's wrap up. Nick and Renata, only three people took the stand today for day 10 of Thomas Clayton's murder trial. And the majority of witness testimony today was from a New York State Police senior investigator from the Forensic Identification Unit. Senior investigator Kevin Sucker spent hours on the stand. He begun his testimony by showing jurors more than 100 photos of blood spatter evidence at the crime scene, including some photos of Kelly Clayton's body. This was an emotional time for family and friends in the courtroom. And during cross examination, the defense questioned why the scene wasn't investigated as a robbery as well, citing no evidence collected from the FIU team of a lockbox underneath the Clayton's bed. The defense also asked if the investigator walked Clayton through the home to see if anything was missing. Senior investigator Sucre did testify to taking note of a large safe in the basement. He said the safe was locked and the footprints he observed in front of the safe were old. The defense also tried to poke holes in the witness's testimony by comparing small items that were moved in a picture. After senior investigator Sucre's hour long testimony, the owner of RS Parker Landscaping testified about having surveillance video at his property in Elmira Heights, but didn't know how to use it. And a New York State canine handler testified to his dog Dodge finding the alleged murder weapon on October 3rd, 2015. Now, Special Prosecutor Whedon Wetmore could not confirm who will be taking the stand tomorrow morning. But as always, for the latest updates on this case, you can follow me on Twitter. But for now, reporting from the Stuben County Courthouse, Logan Wilson, WENY News.